Hi everybody, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football 12 box. Pick your team, number 7 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks all of these folks for getting into the action. Pick your team 7 on the 28th. This is part of tonight's Fiesta Bowl promo. There's Chance with the Jets. Last spot mojo. Thanks everyone for getting in. Pop this case open right here. I'm watching the Fiesta Bowl. I already hit a couple bounties, ladies and gentlemen, on that Fiesta Bowl. We just got to fill up a couple more breaks on that list of eligible breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So once we fill up a couple more breaks... And if more things start happening in the uh, in the game, which will unlock a bunch of money, we'll give away that money tonight. But we got to fill up two more breaks. I think we we can still fill those monster mixers that we have on the site. Fifty-five box baseball mixer and the fifty-eight box football mixer. Those can't actually break live tonight. It just takes too long. But they can fill tonight and be part of the promo. We can do Triple Threads Baseball to be part of the... That could be part of the promo as well. The the Greek Freak Mix Break. We can do another one of those. We did one last week. It was pretty cool. Um, Prison Basketball is probably good. another good candidate. That's already in single digits. And that's a half case break. Hope everyone's uh, holidays went well, Christmas holiday. Did anyone get anything cool uh, for Christmas? Just in general. Or or if it's hobby related, anything anything cool hobby hobby related stuff. Ohio State up 13-0. Nine minutes left in the in the first half. And they're threatening again. Nice, there you go. Andrew got a AJ Green fathead to put up in the man cave. Patrick, what did you get? A PS4. That's pretty nice. There's DeAndre Hopkins, silver. Aaron Rodgers. So, as you know, veteran commons won't ship, but obviously stuff like that will ship because it's numbered in all parallels. Rocky Asin will ship. Kid Reporters will not ship. Carson Wentz will not ship. But if this was like the silver version of, of, of Carson Wentz, that would ship. Tony Pollard will definitely ship. 28 out of 99. Rated rookie autograph for the Cowboys. Dwayne, who got the boys in a team random. Very nice. Tiggs is here saying... I got a one of one Tom Brady in optic football. Oh wait, that's what I'm supposed to get Bill in this break. That would be the Christmas present. That'd be a pretty nice present. Got Travis Homer to 299. The Bucks are holding on to Jameis Winston, sounds like. Andy Dalton's days may be over in Cincinnati. They've got the so Bengals have the officially have the number one pick, is that right? Calvin Ridley to two ninety nine. I think they have that locked up. Which means it looks like I mean they're probably gonna go Joe Burrow, right? 
who looked pretty good in today's game against Oklahoma. There's Dakota Allen. Dwayne Haskins to 199. And we'll do a we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. All right, next box. Just one auto per box on average. Next box. What up, Rex? Yeah, I, I conjured up a snowstorm. That is false, Rex. And quick internet research will show that, that it was all true. I like working, Rex. I was bummed that I missed breaking yesterday. This isn't work. <laughs> I get to open up football cards and baseball cards for a living. I also did not want to be stuck in the car for eight or nine hours as well. Even if it's my brand new, brand new car. Good luck. There's Darnell Savage Jr. to 99. Keenan Allen Silver. The Tesla should be traded in the Tesla, Rex, for the uh, for the coupe, the Mini Cooper. There's Jared Stidham, three out of ten for Bill. There you go, Bill. Not the one of one Tom Brady you were looking for, but maybe a three out of ten future Tom Brady. After Tom Brady goes to the Chargers. There's Dak Prescott battling a shoulder thing. There's Darius Slayton to one fifty. There's Jay Sternberger, rated rookie, silver. Josh Allen for the Jaguars, to 299. I think there was something on the back of that card there wasn't. There is Zach Allen, silver, for the Cardinals, Remington with that. There's Tristan Hill to 199. And Carson Wentz, big game for the Eagles tomorrow. There's Carson Wentz, 299. All right, next box coming up. All right, next box. Oh, Rex is saying Tom Brady's going to go to Chicago. I don't know. Does Tom Brady want to spend the last years of his career playing games in the, in the freezing, freezing cold? Spending the last few years, couple years, or two or three years of your career sounds uh, 
In LA, sounds pretty good. It's only like 60 degrees here. Right, exactly. I mean, I know, Rex, after playing for so long in New England, doesn't you, you would think that he would want a nice little weather change to play his games. Southern California might be it. Wow, Tiggs is saying that Brady's not going anywhere. The three-headed monster will be together for two more years. Belichick, Brady, and... Who's the third monster? McDaniel? Oh, Rex is arguing that, 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 that the heat would, would break down Tom Brady. That's possible. that oh craft is a third head on that monster I guess and I wouldn't think I don't know what does craft do besides own the team there's Keen Allen to 150. And let Belichick do, do his job. <laughs> There's Patrick Mahomes to 199. Out of 299, Gardner Minshew. And Will Greer to 299. And there's Todd Gurley to 99. Weird year for the Rams. And there's Darius Slayton, 10 out of 150. Nice year for him, I would say. I think he's been pretty productive this season. Matt McRae with the Giants. Got the Giants in a team random. <laughs> Eastwood says that the, uh, the camera guy would be the third head on the monster. There's Tom Brady. Goes to Bill. Bill saying he's not going anywhere. Delaney Walker. Nope. DeAndre Walker. Different Walker for the Titans. Irv Smith, Jr., Silver for the Vikings. Or Hollow, I guess. I think Prism, it's Silver, right? And Hollow in Optic. Just too much to keep track of. All right, next box. Whoa, Rex is saying Nick pulled me my first Otani in Flawless the other day. Your first Otani in general or your first Flawless Otani? Was it an autograph? Pretty awesome. First auto in general. So 25. Nice. Nice. It's pretty strong. Otani could have a monster year next year. If he's if he's completely healthy, he'll be back to, to hitting and starting pitching again.
Down goes Trevor Lawrence. And looks like he got his got the wind knocked out of him. Your first reaction is sell for more break money, but you might hold on to it. Well, it's not his rookie year, though, right? If it was a rookie year, I'd be more inclined to, I'd be inclined to tell you, hey, you got to hold on to it. But we pulled you a gold label, one of one Otani, Johnny. Wow, I miss all sorts of things. You go away for a little bit. 11 out of 50, July to Vi. Saquon Barkley, hollow. There's David Montgomery, the 299. Redemption, any guesses on the redemption for bragging rights? Zay Jones for the Bills. Tariq Cohen, red to 99. What other monster hits did I miss while I was away? There's J.J. Arthigo Whiteside. Nice rated rookie. He's starting to step up a little bit. The Eagles have been looking good the last couple weeks or so. There's Minka Fitzpatrick to 199. Steelers. Andrew guessing David Montgomery. He is a notorious non-signer. Could be him. There's Drew Sample, rookie hollow. Daniel guessing Baker Mayfield. Tiggs guessing Sony Michelle. There's Adrian Peterson to 150 for the Redskins. Fans of the game, Aaron Andrews. That will be randomized. I guess she's has to be unbiased. There's Eli Manning to 299. So at the end of the break, we'll randomize everybody's name. Name on top. We'll get the Aaron Andrews fan of the game, fans of the game card. Um, there may be points. If there are, that'll be the second name on the randomizer, and then it's winner take all in that second spot right there. The redemption is going to be Debo Samuel. We were all wrong. Rated rookie autographs, red Debo Samuel for the San Francisco 49ers. AJ Anderson with that one. Next box. Andrew initially thinking that Trevor Lawrence had a collarbone issue. Yeah, what was the issue? I didn't. I was. I'm only half paying attention to this. That's not going to help our bounties for the promo tonight. Is Trevor Lawrence slated for the uh, NFL? Is he is he going to be one of the first QBs taken? Oh, he reached up to his left shoulder. I see. the 
That's what QBs these days need to do, right? Be a little mobile. I don't watch. I don't watch too much college football, so I don't know what what Trevor Lawrence and his prospects are for the NFL. Travis Etienne making the move to get a TD. Is that a bounty at all? I don't think so, no. Oh, we'll see. There's Lamar Jackson to 150. What a season he's had. See your MVP? Saquon Barkley Hollow. Most valuable players, Greedy Williams to 50. Adam Ewald saying the QBs in this game will be the top two picks in the draft next year. There's Marquise Blair. What about Joe Burrow? Their Heisman Trophy guy. There's Melvin Gordon for the Chargers. Rodney Anderson. To 199. And Easton Stick, 10 out of 50. Rated rookie auto for Darren Porterhouse Steak and the Chargers. There you go, Darren. Zay Jones. Brian wasn't a fan of that targeting call. There's Will Greer. There's Riley Ridley. Adam saying that what? Joe Burrow bangle. So then after Joe, Joe Burrow, you're saying in this game. They'll be the next two QBs taken in the draft. There's Bryce Love. Hey, I, I want to see as many QBs as possible in the first round. That's hashtag good for the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next box. After this box, we'll be halfway through the break. Probably have another 35 or so minutes to go in this one. Got a couple randomizers to do, and then we'll see what other breaks uh, are filling that we can do. See a couple of orders coming in. Now, I do enjoy every once in a while going to WalterFootball.com, who always has some nice mock drafts up. I don't know what his qualifications are, but... But, uh... It's an alternative to all of the other mock draft sites. Oh, so they actually won't be eligible, says Adam. For Lawrence and Fields? I didn't realize that. I don't watch a lot of college football. But Burrow is eligible, right? Yeah. So Walter Football is saying Joe Burrow would be taken by the Bengals first overall. What other players in this game? But that was an earlier game. I guess Chase Young to the Redskins, perhaps, if they pick second. Jeff uh, Okuda on Ohio State could be another guy taken that, we're, that we can kind of eye during this game. Isaiah Simmons, another player to look out for in this game. Could be a first-round pick. As for QBs, yeah, Joe Burrow, right? Oh, yeah, Tua. Do you think the Walter Football is claiming that Tua could be taken by the Dolphins? And they just, just let Tua marinate for a season. There's another quarterback that could be taken in the first round. Justin Herbert, Morgan. 
sure Brent Venables challenged his team after getting that touchdown, try to create a little bit of momentum. It's just the first half of the first round. Any other quarterbacks? Possible first round quarterbacks? I think those those might be it, right? And then maybe there's there's some guys in the second round. Jacob Eason of Washington could be taken in the second round somewhere. Maybe Jake Fromm in the second round. A lot of QBs in this draft, I feel like. Um, we'll see what happens. It'll be a fun time of year. By the time the draft comes around, ladies and gentlemen, I think... Uh, by the time the draft comes around, I think we'll all be ready for new football product because we'll be seeing these people's names over and over again for the next few months. And we'll start, start getting hungry for, for some new names. Uh, I've not seen any rookie autos for the Colts yet, Johnny. Daniel's thinking that maybe with the injury, two ups possibly drops to the Patriots. Could be interesting. Let Tua marinate behind uh, behind Tom Brady. That's not too bad. There's Baker Mayfield. There's Derek Carr to two ninety nine. Can you believe that my Raiders have a? Uh, have a very, very slim chance of getting into the playoff. That like five or six different things have to happen, but <laughs> it'd be crazy. There's TJ Hawkinson for the Lions. Hollow. There's Gary Jennings Jr. to 199. There's Tom Brady. Yeah, Tua could marinate behind Tom Brady. Could be interesting. And imagine if the, the Patriots actually got Lamar Jackson. There's A.J. Brown. I think they had a shot at him, right? Out of 99. Titans. And there's D.K. Metcalf for Garrett Strauss, who got the Seahawks in a uh, team random. Nice. Adrian Peterson. There's this hooker right here, Amani Hooker, to 299. Dexter Williams. Marquise Blair to 150. George Kittle to 199. And next box, halfway through the break. Next one. Good luck, everybody. We're marching into the second half of this case. And this game is about to finish up the first half. Clemson trying to get some more points on the board before the end of the half. Almost intercepted. Maybe that's why he's a, a defensive back.
All right, next one. Let's go. DeAndre Hopkins to 299. We got Tyree Jackson to 299. TJ Watt, hollow. Christian Wilkins, hollow. We got Kelvin Harmon to 199 for the Redskins. Benny Snell Jr., rated rookie hollow. Silver. Steelers. We got Mike Edwards to 150 for the Buccaneers. Oh, Lawrence on the run. Still going. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown? Wow. Odell Beckham Jr. to 199. No flags? Nothing? Trevor Lawrence doing it himself. 67 yard touchdown run. It's Jalen Ramsey to 299. And we got Meikle Hardman Jr., 8 out of 75, rated rookie auto for the Chiefs. Andy, got to randomize the Chiefs in the team random. What a run. There's Deshaun Watson. Speaking of Clemson. All right, next box. That was a huge touchdown. Clemson only down by two. Maybe going into the half, a minute ten left. I think Ohio State will run some plays, maybe. Dexter Williams. And there's a gold. Kyler Murray, 2 out of 10 for Remington and the Cardinals. It's a possible uh, offensive rookie of the year right here. One off the jersey number. Got Aaron Donald. 299. Will Greer rated rookie hollow for the Panthers. Aaron Donald Blue for the Rams to 150. And Deontay Johnson, 56 out of 150, rated rookie auto for the Steelers. Going to Scott.
There you go. Nice one, Scott. George Kittle. Michael Thomas to 199 for the Saints. Antonio Brown working out for the Saints. There's Devin Bush, rated rookie. That was an interesting storyline. Sam Darnold, hollow. Saints saying that they were uh, just what, just kicking the tires on Antonio Brown? I'm not sure if he can actually even be with the team for the playoffs, could he? I mean, I don't know. I mean, he could be popped right onto the to the commissioner's exempt list as soon as he signs with another team. That's possible. Maybe teams like the Saints are just kind of looking ahead when they want to trigger that process first. We'll see. I think we've got a relic right here. Set that pack over there. We'll do that last. All right. Good luck. Next box, Dak Prescott, hollow. Got Brandon Cooks to 150. There's my boy Josh Jacobs. Here's another... Offensive Rookie of the Year candidate next to Kyler Murray. Tyrell Williams, his teammate, 299. Saquon Barkley, hollow. J.J. Watt may be back for the playoffs, should be back for the playoffs. There's Lonnie Johnson, Jr. There's Jelani Tavai. There's Le'Veon Bell to 99. There's Trevion Williams to 299. Damian Harris to 199. Another fan of the game. Aaron Andrews, this is Cam Newton, 299. I think we have an Aaron Andrews autograph somewhere here in the shop. Might still be around. All right, so this will be for the second name on the randomizer. Any, any points will go into the third slot then, if any. All right, so what do we have here? 
Great second half coming up. A rarity, a competitive semifinal. Trevor Lawrence is going to take snaps behind for the first time. Le'Veon Bell, and it looks like a red skin. It's going to be nice. Three color patch and autograph, Dwayne Haskins. And that'll be for Christopher. And the Redskins. Nice. 15 out of 25. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Big day in football, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow. A lot of different scenarios going on here. Tennessee, they would win the tiebreak over Pittsburgh based on strength of victory. They would have to win out. Steelers, I guess, could still be in. I mean, there's all sorts of all sorts of craziness tomorrow. A lot of a lot of seating could be could be set based on some games tomorrow. Trying to look up what the what my Raiders playoff scenario is. <laughs> okay, this is wild. So for my Raiders, I'm a Raiders guy. To, to, I don't even want the Raiders to be in the playoffs just because, I mean, that team's banged up. Josh Jacobs might be done for the season and blah, 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 blah. I mean, I, I guess the experience would be nice, give, give players a taste of it. But Oakland has to win, obviously. So it's Oakland clinches a playoff berth with Oakland win plus Pittsburgh loss plus Tennessee loss plus Indianapolis win, plus Oakland clinching the strength of victory tiebreaker over Pittsburgh. Oakland clinches strength of victory tiebreaker over Pittsburgh if one of the following teams win or tie, Chicago, Detroit, Chargers, or New England. And then the Raiders are in. Andrew, Joe, Dakota said in order for me to go to the grand opening, you'll need to push it back until the fall. Oh boy. Well, if you if you guys come in the fall, Andrew, if you and Dakota come in the fall, I mean, I suppose we could pretend to have a grand opening. Get a couple balloons. January 25th is our grand opening, ladies and gentlemen. There's Jamail Dean to 99. If you are in the area or if you want to make some travel plans, Jamal Adams, that's what Andrew was trying to do. January 25th, last Saturday of January 2020, is our official grand opening. Had a soft grand opening. We've been open to the public for a little bit. But no official grand opening yet. That is the day. We'll have, I'm sure we'll have all sorts of in-store specials. There's DeAndre Walker. Um, it'll be sort of like Hobby Shop Day, but bigger. All right? I'm sure we'll have some door prizes, some raffles, you know, stuff that's on sale, giveaways, stuff for the kids. There's Jonathan Abram. There's my boy Jonathan Abram, 3 out of 99. Rookie Auto, 4. Josh Melton, who got randomized my Raiders. really like Jonathan Abram. That's correct, Daniel. Uh, about a million, yeah, 239 or so things will have to happen for the Raiders to be in the playoffs. Once again, Oakland win, Pittsburgh loss, Tennessee loss, Indianapolis win, and Oakland still needs to clinch the strength of tiebreaker over Pittsburgh 
which means that one of the teams has to win or tie. Chicago, Detroit, Chargers, or New England. Yeah, easy. There's Leonard Fournette, five out of five. That's a nice one for the Jaguars. A.J. Anderson. Train whistle for you. All aboard. Woo -woo. Nice. First train whistle of this break. There's Nikhil Harry. Rated rookie hollow. Could all these things happen for the Raiders? It's not crazy. I mean, it is crazy, but there's Jordan Scarlett to 199. There's Fletcher Cox to 299. I mean, any chance is a chance, right? The crazy thing is, is that the Raiders are playing Monday night, I think, right? No, they're not. They're no more Monday. They're playing later in the day. <laughs> Teddy says, if the Raiders, with all those scenarios, make the playoffs, he's, he's saying forget California, and he's going to move back to New York. All right, let's see if it's even possible. Raiders at Broncos. Broncos favored by minus three and a half. Raiders can beat the Broncos outright. It's in mile high, but they, they can do it. That's a good rivalry game there. Then the then the Pittsburgh would have to lose to the Ravens, which could happen, even if the Ravens like kind of sit everybody. Pittsburgh could still lose. Tennessee would have to lose, although Tennessee's heavily motivated, I think, to get into the playoffs. That's going to be the tough one because the Texans, I think, are going to be sitting a bunch of guys. And the t Titans have been, A, playing well since Tannehill was added to that squad. And they're because they're, they control their own destiny. They win, they're in. They don't, have to, they don't need all the wacky stuff that the Raiders need. But, I don't know. Titans can still lose, right? All right? That's not too crazy. Indianapolis will have to win. Colts play the in the early set of games. Colts-Jaguars? That's, kind of that's kind of an ugly game. Um, Colts-Jaguars? I don't know. Jaguars could win, right? That's not too crazy. All right, so let's say that happens. And then... And then the Raiders need uh, the tiebreaker. The strength of victory tiebreaker. So one of the following teams has to win or tie. Chicago, Detroit. I think Chicago... No, they're probably not going to. Detroit... Uh, they might not be. The, what about Chargers? Chargers could. No, they're not. Kansas City's not resting anybody. New England? New England could probably beat the Dolphins, right? All right, so there you go. That's easy. Ra Raiders in the playoffs. Anyone see that uh, that Adam Sandler, Kate, Kevin Garnett movie? It just came out on Christmas. Look, previews looked, commercials look pretty good. Trailers look pretty good. All right, second to last box. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Almost done. There's Travion Williams. 55 out of 99, rookie auto for the Bengals. That's going to go to Matt McCray, who got the Bengals in a team random. Get the Bengals while you can, folks. They're going to be expensive next year. <laughs> Especially if they take Joe Burrow with their number one pick. Joe Mixon to 99. Trace McSorley, Ravens. Julian Love, Rookie Hollow. TJ Watt, 
to 199. Larry Fitzgerald Hollow. Sony Michelle to 299. Is that true, Joe? Joe Howard saying, fun fact, there's Riley Ridley to 150. Joe Burrow is one month older than Lamar Jackson. How did that how did that work out? He's selling out. You can sell almost anything. Just take a few pics, add a description, and boom, it's listed. Stuff gone, money in the bank. Sell it, ship it, and get paid with Mercari. Juan Thornhill to 299. You're watching the Mazda halftime report. Drew Sample to 199. Injuries? All right, last box. Pick your team seven, Optic Football. Looks like I see a handful of orders coming in. So we'll see. No one's told me that anything is sold out, so maybe nothing sold out yet. But... We need to do two more breaks, at least two more breaks to unlock tonight's promo. There's a, some more bounties that could definitely be hit in the second half of this game, which is coming up in the Fiesta Bowl. All the details are on the website right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you're watching live. Look up all the details. Packers in this last box. Good luck, everybody. All right. Thanks for hanging with me, folks. Last box. There's Nasir Adderley to 150. Peyton Manning for the Colts. MVP insert, Debo Samuel, rated rookie to 199 for the Niners. We got Odell Beckham Jr. to 99. I'm hearing things that they make Cape Freddy Kitchens in Cleveland. I feel like that's, I mean, I guess. Zeke Elliott to 299. I feel like he was one of the, the biggest problems for that team. The last autograph is LJ Collier. For the Hawks of the Sea, that's going to go to Garrett Strauss, who got the Seahawks in a team random. Forty-one out of sixty. Why is Taylor Swift doing all these different odd jobs in this commercial? I never understood this commercial. Is Joe Flacco to two ninety-nine? And Daniel saying they better not keep Freddy Kitchens. That's, I thought I heard some rumblings. Maybe maybe there were poor, poorly sourced rumblings. But there's Byron Murphy to 299. Terrell Suggs. But yeah, they got to move on from that guy. I mean, they've, there's so much there's so much individual talent on that team. There's Dakota Allen. What a what a it just felt like a waste of a season. Not a waste of a break, though, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end. Very good break. Let's do a quick randomizer. And then we'll uh, do a quick autograph recap. So 
So let's go back to the list here. Everyone has a shot at the couple uh, Aaron Andrews fans of the game cards. No, nope, no parallels on the on that card, but so top two will get an Aaron Andrews. Five and a six, eleven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11 the final time. After 11, it's Josh Melton and Jay Remington. You'll get a couple of those extra cards right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm sure there will be some. I think we got some more Optic in the store, so check it out. I think there's Random Team versions as well. Here's a quick autograph recap. That was a out of five. That was pretty cool. Uh, got an RPA here, too. That was nice. Those aren't too common. Kyler Murray, gold to 10. Metcalf, Debo, Darius, Jarrett. And Tony Pollard started things off in Pick Your Team 7. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe. I'm out.